before the video starts, today's shout out winner goes to Michelle Pittman. If you guys want a chance to win a shout out in the next video, drop a like and a comment down below, subscribe with notifications on, and I will pick somebody randomly that will be shouted out in my next video. I hope you guys enjoy. Yo, what's going on guys, Satsuki here, and in this video, I am going to be breaking down and explaining the whole 77 Berry situation. And I am mainly making this video because there is a lot of false information going around on the story, and people just don't know what they're talking about, and obviously, I am also making this video to fill in the people that don't know what's happening and are all confused and trying to put this puzzle together. So that being said, I am going to explain the situation to you guys from the very beginning to the very end. So this whole story started about 6 days ago. On June 14th, 77berry posted a video on Twitter entitled, Never Talked Publicly About My Child Abuse, Hashtag Pay For Barry. And I will play that video for you guys right now. Police are outside right now. It happens. Rosemary's not good right now. Pay for Barry boys. So as we all saw, there was police in front of Barry's house, and he also shows his gaming setup that was completely destroyed. So far into the story, this is what we know. There was police in front of Barry's house, his gaming setup is destroyed, and he was abused. Then shortly after that, 77 Barry tweeted out saying, on the verge of offing myself. So at this point, a lot of people are concerned for Barry's well-being. And then shortly after that, Barry uploaded a video to YouTube entitled, Goodbye I Love You All. And basically in this video, Video, Barry goes on to say that he was one abused by a stepdad and for two his stepdad came into his room and completely broke his whole gaming setup. It's the end. All my stuff's gone. I don't have the money to replace it. Um, my stepfather he came in and he's he, he broke everything. This is the end. Five years of my life I put everything I had into YouTube. All the money this is what it went to. I don't know if I'll be back but I love you all so much. Thank you so much for everything I've done. You've made my life the better. <laughs> but I think this is the end, boys. Thank you so much for all your support. And in the description of his video, Barry says, I never talked about the mental and physical abuse of my stepdad, but now everything I have is gone, and I don't have the money to pay for it. I ran away from home barefoot to avoid being beaten senseless. I'm sorry, everyone. And Barry also posted his donation link, so if anyone wants to help him raise money so he can get a new gaming setup, you are free to do so. So at this point into the story, this is what we know. Barry was abused by his stepdad. His stepdad broke his whole game gaming setup, Barry wants to off himself, and he's not thinking straight, Barry has ran away from home, Barry thinks he has to quit doing YouTube. So after all that went down, people were very scared for Barry, and these very unfortunate events for Barry started to pick up attraction, and when that happened, people were starting to dox Barry and calling the police to make sure Barry is safe. Then after all of that, Barry was kinda under the radar, nobody really knew what happened to him. However, on July 13th, Barry tweeted out saying, just woke up to a reason to live. He then said on Twitter, many people are profiting by making fake donation pages that are quote unquote going to be me, they are not. They are profiting off my recent misfortunes and it's not okay. Only use this streamlabs.com slash iberry slash tip. Love you all. And the team that Barry is a part of, which is 77clan, also made a GoFundMe page for him. The official 77clan Twitter tweeted out saying, if you want to help Barry get a setup back, I have organized a GoFundMe fundraiser link here. The details on what's broken is here in the description. Then on July 14th, Barry tweeted out saying, looking at this shows how great people are. I never expected anything this extreme. Anyone who truly knows me that this is my only dream and passion. YouTube gives me a purpose and the motivation to continue. Thank you all so much. And Barry also posted a screenshot of how many YouTube subscribers he has and how much support people are showing him. And then soon after, Barry tweeted out saying, I will put out a video explaining the whole story. I just need to get confirmation of my future living conditions. Again, thank you all. Hashtag pay for Barry. So at this point into the story, this is what we know. Barry was abused by a stepdad his stepdad destroyed his whole gaming setup, Barry wants to off himself, and Barry thinks he can't do YouTube anymore. Then people started raising money for Barry so that he can get back on his feet so he can continue pursuing his dream. Then by the looks of it, it does seem like Barry is safe, and it looks very promising that Barry will return to YouTube soon. And then today, Barry uploaded a video to YouTube entitled, YouTube, thank you all so much, I'm okay. Now you might be thinking, this story is over, Barry is safe, there is absolutely nothing to worry about. However guys, if you actually go on watch the videos, it's pretty obvious that Barry just seems a little bit off, you know, just the way his eyes move, and it does seem like he's reading off of a script. I will show you guys what I'm talking about right now. Really gotta talk. Um, not talking about the dog either. Um, this whole situation, it, uh, it got really out of hand, um, really fast, 
And um, if you notice, the the videos the videos gone. Um, so many news channels, um, people, millions of subscribers, all tried to you know help me, things like that. Which I appreciate your concern so much. Um, so yeah guys, and as a matter of fact, many people noticed it too. As you guys can see on the screen, many people think that a stepdad, the stepdad who abused Barry and broke his old gaming setup, and one of the main characters in the story, is forcing Barry to make this video, and that he is standing behind the camera, telling Barry what to do, hence why you see Barry's eyes looking over there, you know. However, this could be a coincidence, so this is not a fact, just rumors. However, they do seem to add up. And I'm gonna be honest, when I watched the video, it did seem like it too. And after that guys, something really insane happened. On Barry's YouTube video, he commented saying, I'm saying this as fast as possible then deleting this. I was forced to make this video and delete the last one. And the key word is help. So clearly, Barry is not safe. Because in a way, he is being held hostage, you know? So pretty insane stuff right guys. Before we move on, I wanna see who made it this far into the video. So if you are hearing this right now, comment down below right now and tell me what your favorite Fortnite team is. I just wanna see who's a real one and who actually watches my videos you know but now back to the video then after that barry did a live stream on youtube and in summary 77 barry says people need to stop calling the police and that basically he's okay and barry also says that if his stepdad goes to jail it's basically over for him because his stepdad is the provider for his family and i will play the main parts of the live stream for you guys right now um i don't think you understand what position you're putting me in right now but it's not good here's Here's everything that you need to know, okay? The police have been in and out of my house. They're arresting my dad at this moment. That's not what I want because here's what you don't understand and here's what I've been hiding from you. My family, my brothers, my mom, they need him. They need my stepdad. Without him, nothing. We lose our house, we lose absolutely everything. If he goes to jail, I'm done. I don't have a place to stay. I don't think you understand. If he loses his job, I don't think you understand. Everything that I have, it doesn't matter anymore because I won't have a place to stay. I will go to foster care. Okay, maybe the video that I made was forced. There is no Barry on YouTube, right? Because my setup, everything that I need is over there. This will not be a thing. Nothing's gonna matter if I don't have a place to stay. And that's my stepdad. He has his flaws, but he's a provider. He is a provider and I need him. Police constantly coming to my house is not gonna change anything. That only makes the situation worse. What's happening is so many people are making up random things that just aren't true. Here's what happened. I'll only tell what's appropriate for all of you to know. Four days ago, um, my parents, my step-parents were on a honeymoon, my stepdad and my mom, and they came back and they asked me to do something. It was a clean, if you know, 7 7 Nelly, my guinea pig. It's the cleaner cage, right? I wasn't feeling too good. I forgot to do that. Easy stuff. What happens? My mom comes back. She's super disappointed. She's like, I told you to do this, but this didn't happen. And so after that, I try to go and apologize to my mom. And as I'm doing it, I told my dad, he starts talking to me in the middle of my stepdad. I'm like, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to my mom, disrespectful at the time. And I'm super, I'm sorry for disrespecting him or whatever. So he comes back in my room, not gonna tell you what he says, not gonna tell you what he did. Just know that all my stuff's broken. Um, he breaks, he broke it, tells me to get out. I run out, I don't have any shoes. I go over, I'm just running, I'm just running. I don't know where I'm gonna go. I'm super lost and this is where the tweets start. Um, on Twitter, this isn't when the video happens. Um, I'm tweeting because I'm super scared. My phone's about to die. Everything, I'm, pff, I'm super nervous. I was really, really scared, but I'm okay now. I'm perfectly fine. This is way too much and the police need to stop. I don't need any more publicity from this. I don't want any more. Turn the camera around, dude. You guys need to stop. That's that's all I'm saying. Why? I'm I'm pretty sure I had this handled. I'm not fear for my life. Things happen. I was really scared at the moment. I'm okay now. I was trying to make things right with my stepdad. Yes, I was told to delete the video within the next five minutes or you know stuff. Um, I'm not. I'm fine. I'm perfectly. I'm perfectly fine. No bruises. Nowhere. Cops confirm that. I'm okay. I'm good. I, I saved myself. No matter what relationship I have with my stepfather, he provides for me. I have a home. Um, if you don't know, my mom doesn't have a job. It's 100% on him. 100% on him. Everything that my stepdad does. I put a lot of time into YouTube. I put a lot of everything. And if I promise, if I get threatened to get my YouTube channel deleted by um, my stepfather over this, that's that's gonna be a wrap, dude. Stop calling police. That's all I can say. That's literally all I can say. Um, 
I'm fine. I'm fine. Hopefully this is the last time I ever have to address this. I'm really ending it off this time because I don't want to drag this on any longer than it has to be. I don't want to talk about this anymore. So yeah, guys, if we take Barry's word for it, he did say that he's okay. But at the same time, we don't 100% know that if Barry was held hostage to live stream, there are also many people going around saying that Barry is making all this up and that this is a publicity stunt. However, Barry tweeted out saying, and I quote, you are making this up. And Barry posted a video on Twitter of a police officer going to his house. Cap Captured by a security camera. So yes guys, this is very, very real. I can assure you that Barry is not making this up. Barry did say that this is the last time he wants to talk about this and he's just gonna move on from the situation. This whole situation was so big guys that even Keemstar said something about this. He tweeted out saying, I personally am becoming very suspicious of the Barry story. My gut feeling is that it all seems like a stunt for subscribers. So for that reason, I decided not to cover any of it on Drama Alert. However, with that being said, it might be all true. None of us really know the truth. So yeah guys, you guys can take to however you want. Me personally, I'm not really picking sides on this story because simply we don't 100% know the truth you know. If I get more information on this story, I will keep you guys updated. So be sure you are subscribed with notifications on. And also guys, drop a comment down below right now and let me know what you think of this whole situation. I'm genuinely curious as to what you guys have to say. But that's all the news for today guys. If you guys happen to enjoy the video, drop a like and a comment. And if you want to be kept updated with everything that happens, make sure to subscribe with notifications on. Okay, peace.